everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here my name is Trisha and in today's video I'm taking you all thrifting with me slightly different format than what you're used to but stick around to the end I am going to share a small haul lately I have been spending a bit more time going through the clear glass section I think that there are a lot of items here that can have multiple uses sometimes it's obvious what it's made for but if you think outside of the box there are so many different ways you can use them it's also a good place to find crystal I wasn't sure about this bowl there were no markings on it but it was certainly beautiful this is the first item I put in my cart that day I love this little tray it's so many things I can use this for on a vanity a coffee table with candles like so many things occasionally I have these moments when I see something and it just takes me back to my childhood. I couldn't confirm exactly if we had one of these, but I feel like we did. Mom, if you're watching this video, please confirm this looks so familiar. In the spring and the summer is really the time that I love using clear glass vases with fresh flowers. It just has such a clean, beautiful feel to it. And these decanters, it was so gorgeous. I don't think people use wine decanters anymore. I think once you open the bottle, it's already done before <laughs> you give it a chance to decant. But they're certainly beautiful pieces. They're great decorative items, and I'm sure they can be used for other things having a couple crystal or clear glass candle holders in your collection is a great idea these are great all year round and it's such an easy way to elevate a vignette or a tablescape And if you've been on this channel for a while, you would know for me to not take this little green bowl home was difficult. I love green and I love the little feet on it. It was so cute. And also this little glass basket ornament was so adorable. I also love picking up onyx and alabaster items. This little apple was definitely very tempting, but $15 just felt a bit much. These amber spheres looked interesting, but at $20 a piece, I passed on those as well. I loved the double double handles on these. Handmade pottery is always so special. This one just says USC on the bottom. It's a really beautiful color. And at five bucks, I should have grabbed it. This looked so familiar. It reminded me of one I had picked up some months ago. It was green, but it also had those elephant heads on the top there. This red and yellow art glass was really pretty. Although it was priced at $40, I don't think it was Murano glass. It didn't feel like quality. It felt a little bit on the light side, but I could be wrong. If you have any information on this, let me know in the comments. This little duck looks so interesting. I guess it's just to pretty up the wall because you can't put a plant or anything in it, but those eyes look so real. I think this brass duck was a bookend and it was missing the other side. It was priced at $8. 
This ornament looks so much like a CB2 or Creedon barrel piece. It felt like a good quality. This was priced at $6. And here we are at the bells again. A few of these look like they were here the last time I was here. Of course I had to take a look at these amber colored ones. <laughs> Those do get me every single time. This one was very pretty but the score of the day was this one at the back here. It was a cut glass with a brass handle. I thought this was so gorgeous. It had a blue tag which was half price that day so I paid $3. Look at these little cutie birds back here. I thought that this was onyx or alabaster, but it seemed to be some sort of a resin. And I did have some chipping around the face there, but they were really so adorable. If this was made of quality materials, this would have been a great find. Oh my goodness, I absolutely loved these little statues. These would be great in my garden. Ah, I just wasn't prepared to spend 80 bucks on these guys today, but oh, they were so cute. They have quite a selection. I love looking at all the little animal sculptures. This little puppy was so cute. Look at his face. He just looks so peaceful. And this is why you should always head to your thrift store, guys. Look at this mirror. Look at the shape. It is a little bit smaller than this McGee & Co mirror for $800. And you can create whatever finish you want on this mirror with a little DIY project. It's wood, so you can sand it down and finish it in any stain or color you like. This was a larger vintage painting. It was priced at $20. Such a beautiful scenery. I picked up a few that day. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. I did have this one in my cart, but when I did my little cart review, I did put it back. I thought of making the frame just a little bit less yellow so that the painting of itself can have a bit of a moment, but I did eventually put it back. I also liked this frame for $2.99. I didn't care for the artwork. I think it could be a frame that can be used for something else. Looking through the art can be a bit tedious, but if you take your time and look through, there's some good ones in between there. This was one of the two that I actually did take home with me. This was $5.99. I love the picture of the little fancy party going on there. Look at the watercolor art on here with this little dog. This was so well done. I love the colors, didn't care for the frame, but I thought that this was really beautifully done. And look at this vintage piece of art. I loved this. It was $25. I really couldn't take this one, guys. I had to leave it, but that was hard. This was a really, really nice find. This was another one that had a little bit too much yellow for my liking. I did take it home. I do plan on adding a little bit of rub and buff, maybe a brass color to sort of tone down that yellow gold a bit on the frame. 
and you all know every time I look back on these clips I see something that I should have grabbed I was so excited when I saw these definitely vintage I love the little ring on the top I love the pictures with the flowers it looks like it's been around for a while and has so much character and history at only $2.99 I'm not sure why I left them I love decorating with unexpected items like this that you don't normally see in someone's home but this can be so much fun and so unique. I thought this little trinket box was also a great find. Look at all the details on the side and the top. It was priced at $6. These little onyx bookends were very tempting. I did spend some time looking at it. I was just trying to figure out what it was actually depicting. It seemed like, I don't know, it looked like a face on the side there. I wasn't sure, but I did eventually just leave them behind. And these two little ones were so adorable. Look at their faces, how pleasant. Not sure what they were made of. They weren't marked, but they were definitely precious. And here we are at the brass section. I do have quite a bit in my collection now, so I'm really picky with the ones I go for. But I still always scan the shelves and see if I find anything that's different, unique, or just catches my eye. Some days are so much better for baskets than other days. I'm just gonna browse through really quickly and you guys can guess which ones I actually did pick up.
I considered this table for quite a while. I have been looking for something very similar to this. At $20, it's a great deal, but it was a little too big for what I wanted it for. This little vintage cake plate was so special. Look at the flowers and the colors, so beautiful. At $5.99, I thought this was a great deal as well. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Like this video right as you're looking at it so you don't forget and leave a comment. Let me know which items you particularly enjoyed seeing or anything that you would like to share. Liking, commenting and sharing my videos really helps my channel grow so I do appreciate it. Along with clear glass, I like using silver in the spring and the summertime. There are usually so many silver items at the thrift store. Some of them so tarnished you can barely see the mark on it to determine if it's silver or not, but some of the silver plated ones are really, really gorgeous as well. I'm not really sure what would be the official name for something like this, but it looked like a gravy bowl with a handle and on the bottom there was like a little indentation that probably held like a burner or sterno to keep the uh, gravy warm and then you can hold the handle and tilt it forward and it will pour the gravy out it was all stuck up here with the tape but it looked like that's the way it worked i thought that was so gorgeous and unique also these two footed bowls were so stunning they were priced at eight dollars each Before I left, I spent some time going through the baggies. This store typically has a lot of great stuff that can be really useful. This looked like it was a wind chime. There were a lot of beads and bells. I really couldn't see the entirety of it because it was so wrapped up in this bag. It was difficult to really uh, visualize what it would actually look like. So I did leave it, but it was very, very interesting.